Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It's Freely. And with the holidays coming up like Christmas and Thanksgiving, I'm sure you're looking for gift ideas for those special people in your life. So in this video, I'm going to be listing out the items that I bought this year that has actually came out very, very helpful and are just some of my favorite things that I bought this year. So the first thing that I'm really glad I bought was this camera strap. So this is the Peak Design Slide Light camera strap. And the reason why I got this is because this is like detachable. So if you look here, um, these, these are detachable from the actual camera because I had a camera strap before like the you know the stock one that they give you right out of the box I didn't like how you couldn't like detach it and reattaching it was such a pain because you have to like loop things together and I never liked doing that so this was like a cool solution that you could easily clip on and clip off I use this a lot in Japan because there are times where I just didn't want to hold my camera and it was easy to clip on just like that but at the same time able to clip it off really quick when I need to like get like a low shot or like I just didn't want the camera to be latched onto anything so this peak design light um, camera strap is really good Oh, I forgot to mention, it's really easy to adjust. You just lift that and then you just slide um, this strap and adjust it to how you want. And, and it's the same thing for the other side. So yeah, this is one of my favorite things and it's helped me immensely and saved me a lot of re-looping and all that stuff, which I don't like doing. So yeah, highly recommend it. And just to let you guys know if you're interested in any of these items, they'll be all linked in the description in the order that they're shown. So yeah, check them out. So this next thing that I have is this like charger hub. Um, but I didn't actually get this this year, but towards the end of last year, which kind of counts. It was, a, it was like towards the end of the year, but this is basically like a charger hub. So one thing I really like about the charger hub is that there's never seems to be enough outlets when you're traveling. There always seems to be like just one or two. So this kind of solves that problem by having six. So one downside about it is that it's only going to take like USB. So like stuff like charging your phone or charging like um, camera batteries is gonna be the only things you can charge it doesn't have any ports for like laptops or anything like that so with this I have the ability to charge six different things through USB so there's these bunch of these USB ports here and this really helped out on our trip to Japan because obviously we have just a loss to charge having to charge our phone um, camera batteries and just everything else this made it really easy because this allowed for six different things to be plugged in with there are two quick charge ports here the orange ones are quick charge ports so so if your phone is capable of doing quick charge you know that that's perfect everyone should have it um, it's like a two prong though it's like you know the US and some other countries um, but you'll definitely have to get like converter or like something to change this port but nonetheless there's a lot of different ones just like this so just choose one and it'll just help you a lot when you're traveling and even at home so the next thing that I'm really glad I bought this year was this lav mic so if you don't know what a lav mic is it's those microphones those really tiny ones that you see on people's shirts that are attached to people's shirts like in interviews or like videos you've seen on YouTube or just pretty much everywhere so what a lav mic is really good for is for like loud situations where you don't want to capture the stuff around you and kind of just capture the voice that it's attached to so this is really useful in like restaurants where there could be a lot of people just talking and you kind of only want to capture the person's voice who has the lav mic on uh, I originally bought this because I thought we we're gonna do like some food reviews in Japan we didn't end up doing it but um, this is actually very useful for when I'm recording sometimes if I don't want to use the shotgun mic I can just attach this and I might need to start using this more soon because my brother wants to do like food reviews and he wants to do it at the restaurant which you know restaurants can be loud and this lav mic is perfect for that. So next thing I bought that I really enjoyed and I'm kind of glad I bought was this SD card case. I know it might seem very like, like oh yeah, it's just an SD card case, whatever. But I'm glad I bought it because before I just had all my SD cards like in the, this little pouch and, and I was very concerned on the safety of my SD cards with that. But with this SD card case, I'm just able to hold like all my SD cards and I know that they're in there safe. And I know that they won't like just get damaged and 
I got this one off of Amazon. It was super cheap and the quality is really good. You just can't go wrong with this. So next thing I really, I'm really glad I have is this Viltrox Speed Booster. I didn't actually buy this for myself. Um, it was actually a gift from my parents for my birthday. This was a really great gift because it basically transforms my mirrorless M50. It's a crop sensor and it changes it into a full frame. And it's, it's actually really handy. I can use like, you know, DSLR lenses, um, EF mounted lenses, and then it'll fit on my M50. And that's really cool. And this makes the M50 a very viable option for just a lot of shooting because you can attach your old lenses and then make it into a full frame with just this one component. So yeah, this was something that's really great. So this next thing I'm gonna talk about is fairly new and I actually got this like the other day would be this gimbal and this is the G1 Weeble S and I've been playing with it for the past couple days and it's super cool so far. I'm still learning how to use it and getting used to all the controls and how to use the gimbal but so far this is just pretty awesome. I've been actually wanting a gimbal for a while but the Weeble S I just love how compact it is. Look how small it is if you just take this off and you just have it like that. Look how small you can get this. Um, it doesn't actually come with a carrying case because I don't really think you need a carrying case for something this small. So I can't wait to use it. I'm planning on using it this weekend and I just can't wait to uh, make all kinds of videos about this. So yeah, highly recommended. So the last thing on my list for things that I just really like that I bought this year is something I can't show you physically because it's on my camera right now and it's the Canon M50 battery grip. And I bet you didn't know that the Canon M50 had a battery grip. It's actually made by a third party company back in Poland or something. Um, if you want more information, it's in the description below. So I'm making a video review of this battery grip and all the ins and outs of it and how it is with the M50 and if it even actually works. Spoiler alert, it does work. But this is an item that I'm really, really glad I have now. I'm not changing the batteries on my M50 all the time and having to charge my batteries every single time. This battery grip allows me to use the camera for long periods of time. Like what I am doing right now, I just filmed two videos and this is the third one and I haven't needed to change the battery yet. That's just insane. So definitely stay tuned for my video review of the battery grip and subscribe and hit the notification so that you'll be the first ones to see it. So what are some camera tech items that you bought this year that was really, really cool and it helped you a lot? I want to know what you guys have to say. So leave them down in the comments below. I'd really love to know your thoughts and hear what other people have bought this year. But thank you guys so much for watching. Once again, all the links to these items are going to be in the description. So check them out if you're interested in them. But I'm so excited to see what 2020 has to bring for like camera gear and camera tech because I'm super interested in all those things. But uh, yeah, other than that, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.